Hello everyone. Today in series of Talk Plexus KOL interviews, we have with us Dr. Uday Parke, who is the consultant endocrinologist and diabetologist currently working in Hormones and Diabetic Care Clinic, Pune. Thank you, doctor, for joining Hi. us. Hello, everyone. Our today's topic of discussion is Digital Diabetes App to Drive Basal Titrations. So, moving on to the questions, Dr. Farke, can you elaborate on the Digital Diabetes App that will drive basal titrations? How it works and what are its special features? So, the app is basically a tool or an aid to help the patients achieve a good control when they are put on basal insulins. Now, currently the model is such that we educate our patients in the clinic, tell them about a titration plan of how to increase the dose by rechecking the sugars maybe every three or four days. But the experience is that even with extensive and repeated counselling, yeah. patients are very, uh, very much afraid to do this on their own because they do the sugars and even if they are told to, let's say, increase the dose by four units, mm -hmm. if the sugars are not controlled, they will not do it because they are afraid, they are afraid to take that responsibility. Yeah. Now, what this app does is that we feed in, feed in a fixed plan of titration based on the individual needs of the patient, taking into consideration his age, his creatinine levels, his comorbidities, the intensity with which we need to titrate his doses and so on and make an individualized plan for him. So for some patients, I might say, look, I need to increase two units every three days if your sugars are not at control. For some healthier, younger patients, I might even increase it by four units a day. And this app actually prompts. So once the patient feeds in his fasting sugar and his previous day's dose of basal insulin, the app, according to the plan that I've made for the patient, will tell this patient or prompt the patient to take a particular dose of basal insulin today. And every day, it will send him reminders to check the blood sugar, to take his insulin, okay. and to change the dose as per the plan. Say, maybe every three days, every seven days. And all that can be customized into the plan. So this obviates visits to the doctors. So patient doesn't have to come back every second day or third day and tell the doctor his sugar. At the same time, the patient has the comfort of knowing that the doctor has seen this particular value in his portal and is advising this dose. So the app is acting as a kind of surrogate for the doctor. Yeah. And the patient has the confidence, okay, I fed in the sugar and the app said, okay, take 12 units. Mm -hmm. Somebody is looking at this. Exactly. So with confidence, he can start, he or she can start increasing the dose and get to the requirement sooner and better. So that's the whole idea of using this digital technology for titrating the basal insulin. Okay, it is really a great initiative. Uh, moving on to the next question, what in your opinion can be the hurdles or the risk if the app gives fal false positive result? So there is nothing like a false positive result because the entire titration plan is actually customized for each patient by the doctor himself. It's not left to the, it's not left to a random computer to decide what dose to take. So once I see a patient in the clinic and I get to know his whole data, I feel that for this patient, this is the titration schedule, which I put into my portal in my clinic and a link of that is sent to the patient. So there can be no false positivity. Okay. The only problem is that if the patient doesn't feed in his sugars regularly or his insulin dose regularly or let's say the patient has had a low sugar somewhere yesterday evening but does not feed it in, mm -hmm. then the app will not prompt him to you know reduce the dose or whatever. So the, uh, the important thing is that the patient has to feed in all his data realistically for the app to give him realistic suggestions. Okay. If he doesn't feed in some of the things, then he, he will just keep getting the same message. Take 12 units, 14 units, whatever. But if he feeds in that 
yesterday evening or maybe today morning i got low sugars the app will prompt him to go to a lower dose and contact the healthcare provider that's how it is built okay so the patient has to be proactive and use the app so the only drawback is that this requires some uh, degree of you know proficiency with using smartphones and that much of intelligence to feed in data so it cannot be used for people who are not very well educated or who cannot who are very uncomfortable with smartphones it's not for them but for other people who can do this it's an excellent tool okay. there can't be a false positive suggestion okay plus the app has an inbuilt think of restricting so if you do not feed in data for some days the app will just stop it will not give you any suggestions so if you don't feed in your data for 10 days it will not do anything it won't give you any suggestion at all plus you can set the expiry period of the app also suppose you want the patient to come back in 10 days time the app will stop responding in 10 days time okay. if you want the patient to come back more frequently that is so these controls are already inbuilt okay. so it's very little chance that the app will start giving you wrong kind of suggestions it's very unlikely okay great so any key message you would like to share with our doplexis community yes, certainly i mean the message that comes out from this is that given the state of affairs currently where if you look at the number of diabetic patients in india yeah. and the number of qualified personnel who can take care of diabetes there is a big mismatch so it's impossible really for any doctor to you know personally see each and every patient frequently and try and adjust his doses so the use of such kinds of digital technologies to aid in management and to improve overall diabetes control because if you look at the average diabetes control in india it's upward of 8% a1c which is bad so if there are some digital initiatives like this it would perhaps help the patient and the doctor both to get to a better state of control in glycemia exactly. that's the whole idea so i my message is actually to start embracing such newer digital technologies in your clinic okay thank you doctor for your valuable time thank, thank you, you very much i appreciate this thank you so much